guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I DIY'd this velvet lace up skirt completely from scratch. And it is inspired by a Rags and Rituals skirt that retails for about £30. But theirs is in a black velvet but I only had red velvet so I made it out of red velvet. I do have a skirt that would be perfect to make a DIY of that other skirt in black velvet. But I really like that skirt and I didn't want to mess it up in case I made a mistake. So I used this scrap velvet and I made this one. This is the tutorial on how I made it. It is completely from scratch, but you can make a version of this using the same steps from a certain point onwards. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it, shall we? So guys, I want to be, be I'm going to be creating this skirt today, and I do actually have a black velvet skirt that will be perfect for this DIY. It is this black velvet skirt here. And I picked this up on eBay for, I think it was around £3, a couple of months at the back. However, I really like this skirt and I don't want to cut it up for this DIY. So, as a compromise, I am going to make my own skirt out of this gorgeous red velvet material. I know it's red and the original skirt is black, but I do want to do it my own way. And my grandma tape will also be black, kind of add a little bit of contrast. You can always use this skirt as your DIY, and I'll do instructions for this one as well. But I am going to be using my red velvet material for this DIY. So you're obviously going to need some material. I'll read us about a metre of this left from a previous DIY. Some black elastic. You're also going to need some black grommet tape. This was off eBay, and it's fairly easy, easy to find online. You can also make this yourself with grommets. Some sort of lace-up. I have some uh, ribbon. Bustier bow corset thing I recently changed that ribbon for. I'm not sure there's enough here, so I might end up making some. And you're also going to need regular sewing supplies like a lighter to burn end your elastic, some cotton that matches your material, pins, um, pens to mark your pattern, some, to mark, some paper to mark your pattern on, soft fabric tape measures, tailor's chalk or regular chalk, scissors, and a sewing machine or needle and thread. To make the whole garment, I would suggest using a sewing machine, but just to do the grommets in, you could totally do this just using needle and thread. So, let's get into it, shall we? To start off with, you're going to need to measure your waist measurement. So I already know mine, mine is 32 inches, but you need to also work out yours. And as a cheats method, I'm going to go online and find a circle skirt calculator. So I think I only have enough to make a half circle skirt, so I'm going to find a half circle skirt calculator. So I found this website from by hand. So this is circle skirt calculator, so I want to work in inches, I would like a half circle skirt, and I want a mini circle skirt. So my waist is 32 inches, and then I have to do the math. So my, wa my waist radius needs to be 9 and 3 quarters of an inch, and my fabric length should be 13 and 3 quarters of an inch. And this is going to have to lay out, so I'm going to copy what they're saying and I'm going to do it. So I have already made my pattern, but I'm going to show you on this piece of material how you can do it. So it is ideal to start out with a right angle, but I don't actually have a piece of the, at this point with actually a right angle currently. So we're going to pretend this is a straight right angle, and then working miniature for this. So let's say our waist radius on our miniature skirt was 2 inches. I'm going to hold this point here at the top and make a little dash at the 2 inch mark and I'm also going to keep it there and rotate it around the fabric until I get to both sides. This is now our mini skirt waist and I'm going to trace all these lines together. You can actually do this on your fabric, you don't have to do it on pattern paper. I'm going to mine on pattern paper because I do want to preserve this. My pen's also, also just run out so I'm going to switch to the highlighter. So let's, let's say our mini skirt wants to be around three inches from the waistband so here because we're starting at the top here you're going to want to add an extra two inches and making it five so again we're going to do the same as we did for the top and measure it all around and then join it all up and now taking a pair of paper scissors not your fabric scissors because you will blunt them cut out your pattern now to cut that out on your material you're going to want to take your fabric and fold it in half so my fabric is already in half and I'm just going to place my pattern on top with one side matching up to the fold and the other along a straight edge. So my edge over there isn't actually all that straight so I'm going to bring it a little bit away so we can make it straight when we cut it out. So now you can either pin your pattern down or you can do what I'm doing and use some fabric weights and a cutting mat 
and a rotary cutter like this to cut out your pattern. So now my circle skirt is fully cut out and I want this seam to be at the side so I'm going to leave it where it is and I'm going to even, I'm going to evenly spread it out. So I want this to be the front side of my material but I also want to add the grommets down it as well. So I'm going to estimate a kind of measurement I think will be necessary to add the grommets down and cut it out. So this line here is the exact centre of our material. So I think around three inches each side of that line. That's too much actually. If we maybe go two inches, I think that would be perfect. So I'm going to measure that up and down the whole of the skirt and I'll cut it out, then transfer it to my actual skirt. And again, taking my paper scissors and just cutting up that line. So going back to my piece of material, I want to turn it inside out, where the right side's touching. And I'm going to place my pattern down on the fabric again. Now taking my tailor's chalk, I'm going to mark out the line. And now I'm going to open this out flat so I can cut it. And now using my fabric scissors, I'm going to cut up that line. So now if you're going to do this on a regular skirt, you would take your skirt and similarly spread it out. Now this is a full circle skirt, so it'll probably be easier just to flip it upside down like this. And then what you would do is would you would also similarly cut like that down there, and then you'll do the rest of the following pattern. So now I want to pin it up this side seam so we have one continuous loop of fabric. And now I'm going to get my sewing machine out and sew down this. If you had cut open the skirts that you originally started with, it should kind of look something similar to this. So now we're obviously going to want to put our middle piece back into our material, otherwise we'll have like a big flap in the middle of our crotch. Taking our grommet tape, you're going to want to measure from the top to the bottom, and then a little bit extra from the very top to the very bottom, and cut it off at that point. Make sure you're not going through any grommets. If you are, just completely skip on by them. We might match up exactly to your other grommet tape, so your eyelets are all in line. Brilliant. So I'm going to use the longer side as the bottom, so we have a hem. So to sew the grommets, you're going to want to have your needle as far over as possible. My sewing machine does come with setting, and that setting is number one. But you can also just change setting however you like, so that your needle drop point is further to one side. So once you've got to this point, you're going to want to pin your flat piece back into your main circle, and you want to do that right sides together. So I have one side sewn, and it looks like this, so I'm going to sew the other side. Okay, so I've sewed it all together and this is what it looks like and I've tried it on. And because we cut this on the bias and it's a one-way stretch fabric, this fits very nicely over my butt despite being measured to my waist. So to create the waistband, I'm going to have to make it a longer stretch and add elastic. So I'm going to do that now. And to do the waistband, we're going to use a long piece of material to your waist measurement. Okay, so I just added the waistband on and I will include a tutorial in the cards on how to do it properly because I'm not the best at explaining it. Now I'm going to thread some elastic through and then we can get into hemming. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like how the skirt looked. I personally love how the skirt turned out. It looks so cool. I'm definitely making this again in different colours, in different designs. My friend wants one, I need more. So it was super duper easy and if you know how to make a circle skirt, it's just a case of adding a panel into a circle skirt. Things I would do differently the second time around is, I didn't notice this, but we have a side seam. So you could just cut the panel here out of the side seam so this would be one of the side seams instead of having 
a side seam so you could wear it like universal all the way around to the side to the back whatever way you wanted so it didn't have to be just at the front you can wear it down one leg in the front something like that and that's pretty much the only thing I'll do differently the second time around but I think it turned out really really well and I'd love to see how you guys recreate it if you do please tag me on Instagram it's rapley underscore dark and I'd love to see it if you make it and you want to tell me about it in the comments please tell me I'd love to know so safe the dark like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time